My name is Frank Booth and um, for nearly 40 years I was a nurse until I had a catastrophic heart attack. One of the difficulties is that when you've had such an event you will almost inevitably end up with more problems later down the line. I was also diabetic. Over the years I've managed to develop heart failure. I've had to have a cardiac pacemaker and ICD, a defibrillator fitted, and my sugars from time to time have become very erratic. I've also got renal failure and so when um, in the last month or two I've had to come back into hospital again for what is called cardiac decompensation. War 37 has given me great faith in cardiology and in this particular ward in itself because having experienced this I now know what can be achieved. I know that I can say that if I go into there to my family don't worry I'm safe. I know I'm safe and if I know I'm safe I will have a better experience. And that's how I've arrived to actually try to explain to you today and it, another event which took place on the ward which I certainly didn't expect. The heart failure that I've got has now become significantly uh, worse and I've been told that the majority of the drugs that I'm taking now have stopped working so end of life is um, going to approach sooner rather than later. Now I actually prefer to be told these things I, I, I'm very keen on black and white I need to know what's happening to me so that I can take control of my life and make my decisions and not leave it to other people. If I'm going to die, no matter what you do, then, you know, look after me, care for me, and give me dignity, and let me go peacefully. And the uh, person came from the palliative care team. Uh, before she came, the doctor explained to me, this is to prepare me for end of life decisions. And the doctor then left me. Having now been sitting there on my own for a few seconds, it just felt as though a huge hole had opened up beneath me. And suddenly I fell through it. And despair is the only word I can come up with that tells me what I felt. I felt empty. I felt alone. I certainly felt frightened. But yet I'm a person who's accepted everything. We've made that decision about what's going to happen to me. I know I'm going to die. And I, I, you know, I, I, do I want to? Of course not. But when it, you're faced with it as a reality, it's shocking. And I must have looked not my normal self. Um, I must have looked not well because a young staff nurse, and I, I, unfortunately I can't remember her name, just came up to the bed and sat on the bed, held my hand and spoke to me for maybe two minutes. Now, I can't even remember what she said, but whatever she said, it must have made a huge difference. And just that human contact, now I know from my nursing history, you're not allowed to sit on beds, you're not allowed to touch people. But she did both of those, so I suppose in effect she must have been doing something wrong. But for me, it was just the right thing to do. And when she left, only a couple of minutes of her time had been spent, and yet... The hole had been sealed underneath me. I was now back up into the world of living and everything seemed okay. That particular nurse on that particular day with that two minutes of her time made me bounce back and made me feel that life was worth living and I could live and I had the chance and with that chance I can get on and do something about it. Do I think it was a good thing the nurse did? Oh yes, because without that I could have easily slipped down into depression and I could have easily lost the will to live. And losing the will to live is desperate. And I very nearly got to that state. And maybe it was just good luck or good fortune that she was there. Maybe she's a very experienced nurse. Maybe she's very clever and noticed things. But whatever she did, how wonderful it was, because by doing that, it made such a difference. 
if I'm that ill that I require your services again, please can I come to you? Because I know that if I come to you, I'll be alright. I know that I'll be safe. I know that you'll look after me.